everyone. I'm Naoki Yanagihara. Welcome to the world of Japanese cuisine. I will take you to the higher level of Washoku world. Our theme this time is the secret of delicious Japanese fermented seasoning in your kitchen. I will show you how to use soy sauce at your home and restaurant. There are five types of soy sauce here. From the left, this is white soy sauce. It's called shiro shoyu. And this is light color soy sauce. It's called usukuchi shoyu. This is dark color soy sauce. It's called koikuchi shoyu. This is fermented soy sauce. Saishikomi shoyu. And tamari soy sauce here. Dark color soy sauce. It's the most common type of soy sauce. You can probably find it in your city. We use different type of soy sauce depending on the dishes and ingredients. Speaking of the main ingredients of soy sauce, the darkest color tamari soy sauce is made mainly from soybeans. Dark color soy sauce is made from the equal amount of soybeans and wheat. Meanwhile, white soy sauce is made mainly from wheat. Soy sauce loses flavor when it's exposed to air and light. It takes better fresh. After opening the bottle, it's better to keep it in the refrigerator. Now I will explain to you which type of soy sauce is good for what kind of cooking. White soy sauce is used for dishes where you want to retain the color of the ingredients, like ikura, salmon roe marinated in soy sauce. Light color soy sauce is used for simmered dishes. Dark color soy sauce is for sashimi and grilled fish. Refermented soy sauce is used with steak or as a hidden taste in Western cooking. Tamari is used in tsukudani. Let's take a look at the cooked radishes in different soy sauces. From white soy sauce to tamari soy sauce, you can see how different the color are. Each soy sauce has different flavor. I love each one. Why don't you try? Master's way, you use soy sauce. It's authentic Japanese style. Thank you for watching.